Hey guys, Brad with 1894 Outdoors. Welcome to another video. Today I have something a little different for you guys. Kevin and I are gonna be out arrowhead hunting. So we're in a spot that in the past he's found a lot. He's the expert. I've done it a few times. I found it a few, but nothing like him. He's found what? Probably 40. 40, okay, so 40 or so. And he said this is a good place to go. So we're gonna start looking. Hopefully we can find something cool. So what we're actually doing when we're out arrowhead hunting is first off looking for a particular color. Arrowheads are made of flint, at least in Pennsylvania, and flint is a blackish gray color, which is gonna be a lot different color than the normal like creek stone, like that whitish gray. So that's the first thing we do. Second off is we look for rolling hills. The Indians would have camped above the flood line. So when you're looking for their encampments, you look for hills that are above that. So in a field like this, I can see four or five hills that are higher than the rest of the field and that's a good place to start. All right, Kevin's calling me over. He thinks he has one. He stacked these rocks up. All right. Right there. Looks like one to me. Move this dirt so you can see it a little better. Look at that. I'll let him pick that out. A little broke. Yeah, the sides broke off, but that's a nice one. That's neat, congrats. Thank you. I hope I can find one. That's awesome. Well, I told you guys Kevin's the expert. He called me over to show me another one. It's right there. He's putting me to shame. Let him pull that one out. This one's definitely a different shape than the last one. More of like a triangular shape. That's pretty cool. Now I had to find one. We just picked this up, which it's definitely flaked on the edges, so this could be a scraper. It was definitely worked at some point, and it's flint. That would be my guess, but not certain. It's a lot of fun hanging out here, looking for these arrowheads. It's a little bit older than what I'm used to hunting with the metal detector. It's neat. All right, guys, I'm starting to get embarrassed. Turns out Kevin is not just a little bit better than me, he's a lot better than me. Good thing we brought him along. It's right there. That one's real nice and flat too. Let him take that one out. Yeah, a little bit of the tips broke off. Besides that though, it looks really nice. That's cool. All right, my turn. Well, we were walking back to the car to change spots and there's a milk bottle here. It's pretty cool. No writing on it, but still. That'll clean up nice. It's awesome. All right guys, time to be done for today. We had a lot of fun, but I wanna move on to the next thing, get back to metal detecting. But for the short little bit we did it, we had a lot of fun. Kevin found some really cool stuff and I'll show you guys that before I leave. Sorry today's video is a little shorter than normal, not a lot of clips, but when you're arrowhead hunting, <laughs> you could find one or you could find 10. Today we happen to find three, which is awesome. So I'll show you those quick. Those are the three that Kevin found today. He also found a scraper and a lot of flakes. I found some flakes too. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, keep an eye out in the future. There's gonna be a lot of cool videos coming, especially testing the Equinox and the Pulse Dive. So thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.